I, I mean, honestly, I thought it was amazing. I mean, the, 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 the surreal thing about Alan Frew is that, you know, I, I remember being inspired by Alan when I was a kid through his music, through Glass Tiger. And it's so surreal to be an adult now and to be listening to him speak and to be inspired by him again through his words again, but in a, in a totally different medium. You know, I need the title. I think, what am I going to call it? What am I going to do? And I had this idea of a little metaphor. A metaphor of getting up off your bum and making yourself a sandwich, right? The steps that you would go through to get the knife and the butter and the bread and make yourself a sandwich. I thought, what a lovely little metaphor. That's it. I call it the action sandwich. So, uh, outstanding evening. Uh, I'm so glad to uh, take the time to be here. I said, what? Pubs. I'm thinking, does he know I'm Scottish? Has anybody told this poor guy? Right. And uh, this whole concept of uh, kind of living life on your own terms uh, is critical. I thought it was amazing. What I learned from Alan was that success is all about confidence and courage. And uh, you know, throughout the uh, throughout the, the speech, uh, you could feel the confidence and the courage inside yourself building. And by the time it was over, I was ready to go out and do something, take on the world. <laughs> Receptivity, being receptive and open to new and encouraging ideas that instantaneous, it's like the signposts of life, right? You know what, I have been a huge Glass Tiger fan ever since they came out. The really cool thing about tonight was the message, okay? The message that if you love it, you should be doing it. Because successful people universally, what separates us is that we feel the fear that everybody feels and we do it anyway, right? That's the key. So the Alan Frew experience is based again in simplicity, and honesty, uh, with a real uh, street level mentality. But that's, but hope is not concrete, but the rest of that sentence, desire with an expectation of accomplishment. Now to me, that's genius. You know, over the years I've seen uh, many speakers, I've been to many dinners and uh, I was just mentioning to Boris that you know, every time we seem to raise the bar. And the speaker tonight, you know, Alan, you know, has definitely raised the bar. Good old fashioned common sense. If you don't love it, don't do it. You know, I can say, you know, probably one of the best speakers that I've seen. I, at some point in time in this evening's presentation, I was almost in tears because I share a lot of the similar sentiments and origins I come from London, England, from a very working class family, so when Alan was mentioning the story about how the one decision that his father made to come here changed his life, it resonated with me tremendously because at 18 I came here on my own almost by accident. Anybody that knows me personally knows that giving up is just not in my vocabulary. It doesn't exist, right? I see it, I go after it, if I don't get it, I take two steps back and I go right back at it again. If someone feels motivated and empowered to, uh, to realize that they don't have to give up on a dream or a goal, that it merely is just sitting stagnant, and if I can help them, I go back and uh, rekindle that spark and that success. We're all born worthy, right? We're all born. It's no secret. We're not using, you know, special code languages. We know the story, right? Well, having been a student of the genre of you know, what we call motivational books or self-help books. I've read them all, Tony Robbins, Jack Canfield, uh, Deepak Chopra, Carolyn Mays. And having attended many of these sessions, I pride myself in several unique uh, things. One would be that there's a street level honesty imparted that people come back to me and they say that they feel that I was speaking to them, not over them. What do I need? I say you need belief. I believe. I managed to tell this whole nation that last year with little Nikki Yanofsky singing it at the top of her lungs. I believe in the power that comes from a world brought together as one, right? I believe. What do I believe? Well, first thing I believe is I believe in me. What I love about what he's doing now is he's taken his music and he's said, you can be a success doing things you already love. So I want my kids to understand that. Because uh, I believe in the power of you and I. 
and the grammar police came out in the woodwork all over Canada. You can't say the power of you and I. I said, but I need a word to rhyme with why. Well, a full day team building session is really quite unique because on the one hand, it's based in the same principles of any speaking engagement. Together as a group, we explore the principles of receptivity, desire, belief, intention, and actually taking action and garnishing it with uh, passion. But um, one of the beautiful byproducts is we do it through the universal language of music. So with my assistance, I gather them into groups and we spend the day songwriting. And uh, the song is actually left behind for the corporation or the company. So it's a song written by their own players with my help. I believe in the power that comes from a world brought together as one. I believe together we'll fly. I believe in the power of you and I. Success is control, control of your own time, success on your own terms. Life is supposed to be lived like that. You're supposed to think it and want it and have it. So I loved it, loved, loved, loved it. I want to meet him. Action, you have to do to get done. Right? There's, there's the motto. I know what it feels like to, to go to these sessions and feel like I'm not really part of it, that I'm just there being lectured to. As my condiment to this little sandwich, I offer you passion, passion, right? You know, I am a byproduct of the streets. Um, what you see is what you get. You know, I, I speak the way I have written in the book. And so uh, people will come to me and say that it felt more like a, an interactive experience, that I wasn't speaking over them, I was speaking to them, and I was part of the group, not the outsider looking in. What you send out, you get back. We know that. Right. It was a fantastic evening with Alan. Uh, he's, uh, he's the consummate entertainer. Uh, I've got great feedback from uh, people that uh, I've spoken with since, he, uh, since his presentation. Uh, he has a great message about the action sandwich. Uh, he is so authentic, the way that he uh, tells his stories and uh, they've got a wonderful message. Uh, he's an inspiration to everybody in the room. Alan's phenomenal. I mean, he's, what an entertaining person, well thought out. I just love the fact that he he goes by the beat of his own drum, and that's something that I've always believed in. I do it, and I really appreciated hearing that and making me understand that that's exactly what I should be doing. And Alan, peace, brother. The principles of success are based in uh, honesty and simplicity, so that's what stands out for me. Tell me when that breeze is blowing, taking me home. Town. Let's see Tony Robbins do that one. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.